Today we're going to be opening this Magic the Gathering Lost Caverns of Ixalan gift bundle box. I've never owned Magic the Gathering cards before in my life, and I wanted to get into the game, so I figured why not get this box? I saw it at Target, and it looked cool. So let's open the box now. Also, if you're already a fan of this game and you want to get one of these boxes for yourself, check the link in my bio. There's a link to my Amazon storefront, and it would help support the channel. Let's get to opening this bad boy and see what's inside. Whew. Okay, let's get it open. First of all, we get this nice little, I think it's a booklet or is it just a little pamphlet? I think it's a booklet, is it not? It is not. No, that's just one sheet of paper. All right, I'll show you the artwork. That looks an awfully lot like, oh, that's because this includes a Jurassic foil card. I forgot about that. And then some cool artwork on the back. I like this. Okay, anyway, let's get into the box itself. It looks like it comes with a nice little collector's box. Like the artwork on it is nice and big. I can store plenty of cards in here. Let's see what's inside. Oh, there's the booster packs. Okay, so I know it came with this uh, keep track of your life. Your mana? No, it's not your mana, it's your light. I think that's the word for it. I could just be totally wrong, but this will keep track of it for you, which is pretty nice. And you can also use this in D&D if you're into playing that. Okay, what else does this come with? It comes with one, two of these packs. I believe these are guaranteed in every box. Then it comes with, I believe these are eight expansion packs for Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so this one's a nice little bonus. There looks like there's nine of them in here. We're gonna get to opening all of these in just a second. It looks like I can put these on and around the box. I'm not exactly sure what to do with these little cardboard cutouts, but I'll figure that out later. For now, we'll just leave them in the box. Oh, these come with damage counters. That's what this is. Okay, cool, cool. I'm not 100% sure what all of these are, but hey, it looks cool. I, I know these are damage counters. I played the online a little bit and that's what it, that's what they look like. Cool, okay, so that's what this is for. Definitely wanna take that out of the box then. I I think this is literally just a card holder. Anyway, we'll leave that in the box. Let's get all this out of the way and start opening these packs, shall we? I know there's a couple cards in these packs that are worth like 30 bucks, but once again, I'm not planning on selling any of these. These are my first cards and they're gonna be special to me. So let's get opening. First, let's open these ones that kind of look like, uh, what are they, saltine packets? Not really sure what they, why they look like this, but I think these are the cards you're guaranteed to get in every pack no matter what. It's kind of cool to own some now. So there, there's the back of the card. Let's see what all is in here. Hit the mother load. This was guaranteed in every single box. Discover 10, if the discover card's value mana is less than 10, create a number of traps treasure tokens equal to the difference. If I knew what that meant, I'd explain it more. Oh, okay. This is cool. That's a legend. That's a legendary creature. How many of these does this come with? I think this is called a borderless card. I know that legendaries are hard to find, but I, th I think this one comes guaranteed. And I believe these are all land cards, basic land cards, swamps, mountains, forests. Yeah, but they're all shiny, so they look cool. I believe it comes with 25 of these. I don't know how many are in, I think it's 25 total. I could be wrong about that. So I believe we got a guaranteed legendary creature. That's cool. Oh yeah, because this is the guy from Jurassic Park. I'm stupid. Yeah, okay, that's sick. And then I know this came with it for free. I'm not really sure what this card does, but it looks cool. Okay, let's open up the other saltine packet. Let's see what all is in this bad boy. I think these are also just basic land cards. I think these are the ones, because they advertise in the box that there's a bunch of basic land cards, and I believe that is it. Oh, some instructions. That actually would be very useful for me, because I'm kind of dumb and don't really know how to play that well. All right, hey, that's a cool little start. And to have this legendary card guaranteed, that's pretty awesome. I get that it's a promotional thing, but it's cool. I really like it. Okay, now time for the gambling part of this. The card packs. Let's see if there's anything good in these bad boys. Collector booster? I, I don't know if this is guaranteed, but it has more cards. It is 15 instead of 12, so let's open it. Okay, I'm getting scissors, I'm stupid. Okay, I got the scissors. Let's make sure not to cut the cards in half. That would be ideal. There's the top of the card right there. Whew. Okay, I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm gonna have to be very careful to make sure I don't cut the cards themselves. Okay, Marlamet Brawler, Primordial Gnar, Relics Roar, Thousand Moons Infantry. These are all foil too, that's pretty cool. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. That's a legendary creature. Oh, that's sick. What is this? Bartolome del Prez Presidido? I'm stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sacrifice another creature or artifact, put a plus one, pl oh. Okay, so this guy can get strong really quick because if you keep sacrificing stuff, he just gets plus ones over and over. Got it, that one's cool. Okay, we're gonna set all the legendary creatures to the side here. So Owen Grady over here. And there was that other part that came guaranteed, but I'm not gonna put that one with the rest of these. These are these are the these are the coolest cards. We'll put them here at the, the top of my screen, kind of to the left, like that. There we go. Let's go with that. Malamade Battle Glyph, that's cool. Forgotten monuments. Alright. Basic land. Oh, another one. I don't know if these come guaranteed either, but this one's borderless. That's even harder to find. Descend for as long as there are four or more permanent cards in your graveyard, he gets plus two, plus two, and has trample. Okay, that's powerful as hell. And then descend eight, if there's eight or more in your graveyard, he gets plus two and plus two, and can't be blocked by more than one creature. Holy sh... Dude, this thing's gotta be a pretty good card then, right? I would think so. I don't know. I'd have to play with it, I suppose. Ooh, a legendary artifact. Okay, Tarion's Soul Cleaver? Equipped creature has vigilance. Whenever another artifact or creature is put into a graveyard on the battlefield, plus, put a plus one, 
Oh, that's strong. That's cool. Okay. And also, that's just some cool artwork. By the way, I, I do want to mention, dude, all the artwork on these, especially this one. I'm a big fan of the art. That's so sick. It has the purple and the green. Dude, this card is cool. But I just always want to highlight the artwork and Magic the Gathering cards. They do a fantastic job making their stuff just look cool. Wrathful Raptors. All right, okay, these have to be guaranteed. There's no way. A call per call, first among equals. At the beginning of each player's end step, if an artifact entered the battlefield under your control this turn, look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other into the graveyard. That's a risky card, but that's cool. I really like that. And also, he just looks cool. He's a human advisor card. Okay, okay, we'll put this to the side with the other legend. Holy sh... These, are, these have to be guaranteed. There's no way I'm just this lucky, right? I, I'm, I probably sound so stupid, but this is so cool. Indominus Rex Alpha. Another, ooh, this is this is a cool card. This, uh, what is it? Stalact oh, Stalactite Stalker. Okay, yeah. It's it's all hollow. It's not a rare creature or anything, but it looks cool. One more card. Dinosaur Egg. Huh. I don't know what that does. All right, let's put these cards to the side for now. Now we got eight whole booster packs to open, so let's get to it. All right, careful not to cut the cards themselves. Okay, the pack is open. I'm just really bad at opening these, so you're gonna have to forgive me for using scissors. I hope that's not devaluing the packs or something. Okay, trash over there. Basic land, Ray of Ruin, Sage of Days, that's cool. I, and it's 3-2, that's decently strong. Walk with the Ancestors, In the Presence of Ages, okay. Oh, it's an instant, that's cool. Didact Echo, that's, dude, that artwork, I know this isn't like a rare card, but that artwork is pretty nice. I'm a fan of that. All right, let's keep going. Confounding Riddle. Eaten by Piranhas. That's not ideal. <laughs> uh, all right, next, next. Forgotten Monument, I had one of those, but I assume there's nothing wrong with having multiple of those in your deck. Caslum Stone Tree. Restless Reef. Okay. Oh, Oaken Siren. Oh, this one's, this one's a foil. Okay, next pack. <laughs> Okay, said I'm trying to be very careful not to cut the cards themselves, but I'm always a little worried. Wonder if we'll get any more legendary creatures. I would think so with eight packs. You think the odds would be pretty good, right? More art, more uh, art series stuff. We'll put that over here for now. Promising vein, buried treasure, daring discovery, sunfire touch, or Azka puzzle door. That's cool. I like that card. Another artifact creature, volatile wonderglyph. Yeah, yeah. Hoverstone Pilgrim, Godfury Strider, Zoetic uh, Glyph, yeah, Zoetic Glyph. Oh, there's a legendary creature. Okay, so this is a Cap uh, Caparati Sunhorn, I believe. The Human Soldier. Whenever he attacks, you may tap two untapped artifacts under creatures you control. If you do, discover three. That's that's very strong, I think. I'm pretty sure that's strong to untap stuff like that. All right, we'll put it with the cool cards. Tishana's Tidebender. Ooh, that's sick. Molten Collapse, and that's borderless too. Choose one, okay, sorcery, choose one. If you descend this turn, you may choose both instead. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Destroy target non-creature, non-land permanent with mana of one value or less. Like I said, I'll probably understand this better if I play the game. That's cool. And treasure, token artifact. Oh wait, okay, th this isn't one of the actual cards. This, this is just for the online game. Next box, or next pack. I, I don't have another box, I promise. I definitely don't want to spend $60 again. You think I have enough subs for that? Looks like we got some more artwork. Looks like all these packs come with a nice little bit of artwork. We got a basic land card. We got Rumbling Rockside. Cartographer's Companion. Compass Gnome. Uh, Hotfoot Gnome, okay. Tinker's Totes. Ooh, another legendary creature. Nikanzo, Currents Conductor. Whenever a creature you control explores a land card, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Whenever a creature you control ex explores a non-land card, put a plus one, plus one counter on this card, which is pretty strong. All right, we'll put it up here with the other legendary creatures. We got Kinjali's Dawn Runner, Glimpse the Core, Jade Sea Stone. This one looks cool. It's not legendary or anything. I just really like that artwork. Hey, another, another uh, Tarian Soul Cleaver, Legendary Artifact. Nice. We'll put that with the other one. Oh, it's Hollow Instant. Okay, that's pretty dope. Let's put that here with the other Cleaver while we're thinking about it. And I believe this one... No, this is actually just a card. Okay, a Braid and then Sadistic Auger Mage. Okay, dope. This one's Foil. That's pretty cool. Next one. Okay. Let's get these out. 
some more artwork, as all these packs come with. Captivating Cave. Basking Capybara. Oh man, I pull up, am I right? I'm sure that was hella cringe. Staggering Size. Poison Dark Frog. That's just a real animal. It still looks cool. I like the cards. Nurturing Bristol back. That's dude, a 5 5. That must be like a pretty strong card overall. Okay. Create a 3 3. Oh, okay. It, it comes with a creature token. That's cool. Dynomination. That's cool. I like that a lot. Vanguard of the Rose. Bitter Triumph. That's a cool card. Alright. I like that a lot. Canonized in Blood. Also pretty cool. All these death cards I'm getting. Oh, another legendary creature. I think it has the same name as one of these other guys. Or a very similar name. I thought I saw this name earlier. There he is, this guy. Oh, okay, it's just the rarer version of him. It's not, I don't, but it's, I think it's the rarer version of this one. Hey, well, eh, okay. well, the more the merrier, am I right? Ooh, nice, a dual, a dual, um, land card. I believe that's what this is. Yeah, add a fire, add a fire or a, a life. And then another hollow, burning sun cavalry. And I believe this is, yeah, this is the token card here. Dude, I'm actually, dude, I'm impressed by these cards. That guaranteed pack, dude, it gave you so many cool cards. I, I don't... I'm pretty sure that collector pack was guaranteed, but like, or guaranteed every card in it, but dude, they look super cool. I'm a fan. Uh, one problem though, I don't have any card sleeves. I should probably invest in that or get some from somebody or something. I don't know. Point is, let's throw this pack to the side here. Get my trash over there and let's keep going. Let's do it. More artwork, put that to the side. Ooh, Hidden Acropolis, it's a hollow card. I believe it's called hollow. I don't know if there's a different name for it. In Pokemon, it's a hollow. A braid, a brade. I'm not sure. Disruptor Wanderglyph, okay. Cogwork Wrestler, I've seen this one. I've seen this card before. I don't really know where I've seen it, but I've, I've seen it. Thousand Moons Crackshot, that's that's the dope name. It's not a rare card or anything, but it's a dope name. Thousand Moons Infantry, I think I got one of those earlier. Still a fan. I still, the artwork's, dude, the artwork and all these is, ooh, another legendary creature. Synapse Necromage, Tendro the uh, Myco Tyrant, well, let's, let's go with that. A landmark. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ooh, a legendary creature, another one. This one's a god? It has trample. Oh my god, what does this thing do? Whenever the whenever it deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library. You may put a creature card and or land card from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest at the bottom in a random order. Whenever it dies, return it to the battlefield tapped and transform it and transformed under its owner's control. I assume that's good. It looks cool, it looks like it's good, and 6-5 is pretty crazy splits. Oh, okay, so this, this is just a creature, but hey, this one's strong, a gargantuan leech. It just has 5-5, five, five. that's pretty strong though. And a treasure, and I believe this is the promotional card. Nice. All right, three more packs, guys. I hope you enjoyed this so far. I've really enjoyed opening these. I'm, like I said, these are the first ever cards, Magic the Gathering cards I've opened. I'm really excited to learn more about the game over time. All right, pack is open, put the trash to the side. Get the cards out. Here we go. Then we got Hidden Necropolis. We got Adaptive Gem Guard. We got Hunter's Blowgun. We got Attentive Sunscribe. Sunshot Militia. Malamet Veteran. Tendro the. Oh, we got this one last time. What's the next card? It's an artifact. Explorer's Cache. Okay. This one looks. This is a sick artwork. Malamet Battle Glyph. I'm a fan of that. I'm just a big fan of green, so you're going to. See that I like this. Uh, another artifact, Castle Stone Stone Tree. Oh yeah, I got that one earlier. That one's cool. Another creature, Queen Bay's Paladin. That's pretty strong. A five four is pretty strong as far as like physical battle goes. Oh, I got, oh, <laughs> I got the same one in foil. What are the odds? Am I right? And last card, another treasure. Just two packs left. So let's get them all opened. Here we go. All right, here we go, here we go. Put that to the side, get the cards out, put the pack to the side. Here's some more artwork, some more cool artwork. All right, a basic land card. I love I love the artwork on these basic land cards though, they're so sick. And they're useful in like every deck. Dynamation, Relic's Roar, Rampaging Spike Tail. Oh, dude, that thing is strong, five, six. Like I said, I don't, I don't actually know what's strong and what's not, it just looks cool. And I, it has big numbers, so I hope it's strong. Aerobatic Leap. Malicious Eclipse, Ruin, Lurker Bat. It's a nice little weak creature. You can use a bunch of those, I suppose. A Deep Cavern Bat, 
Idol, <laughs> dude, Idol the Deep King, that's sick. That's pretty strong. Just straight up does two damage to any target. Can't complain about that. That's a legendary creature, right? Ooh, another one. Uh, Cutsil, Malamet Exemplar. That's cool. Your opponent can't cast spells during your turn. That's, that's really good. <laughs> Whenever one or, one or more of your creatures you control with power greater than its base power deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Oh, I see the synergy here. So if you were to give this to, and they had a bunch of counters on them, dude, that thing could get strong fast. I like that. We're gonna put this one to the, we're gonna put this one up here with the cool cards. Another stalactite stalker, echo of dusk. All right, it's another hollow card. I like it though. That's some cool artwork. And another promotional card. Last pack, guys. Let's see if we get one more legendary. I kind of hope we do. Some more artwork. Let's, let's see what we got. Promising Vein, Iron Paw Aspirant, Envoy of, oh boy, I'm not even gonna try to say that. But it's a decently strong card, a 3-3. Itales Favor, Enchantment Aura, okay, nice. Kirtali's Final Strike, Council of Echoes, that's some cool artwork too. I'm a fan of that. It's just a strong card, it seems. I like that. Self-Reflection, Chart of Course, Ooh, one more. Wait, have I already gotten this one? Yeah, I did get this one earlier. Another legendary, but I already have it. You don't see me complaining. This is my third one. This is just the same time I've gotten the double artwork. I assume you can put multiple of these in your deck. I'm not really sure, but I like it. We're gonna put it to the side here. Octolin Landmark. Brass Tunnel Grinder. Oh, a legendary artifact. Okay, we got another one. When Brass Tunnel Grinder enters the battlefield, discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards plus one. That could be a good card. I think it's good. Oh, I, I got one of these, but this is a hollow one. Nice. And I believe one more legendary creature. And this is, nope, this actually is just another legendary creature to end it. One more, that's pretty awesome. Dina, Soul Steeper. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Sacrifice another creature, Dina, Soul Steeper gets plus X, plus zero until the end of your turn, where X is the sacrifice creature's power. Dude, this thing could be insanely strong. I don't know much about the game, but this looks strong as hell. Dude. That's crazy. Well, I'm pretty happy with the cards I got, and I got a lot of them, so I'm gonna have to put them in this box and keep them safe. I don't have any card sleeves. I have my Pokemon ones. I guess I can put them in that for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Lost Caverns of Ixalan opening. It came with quite a few legendaries, including the promo cards, which like, like these Indominus Rex. These were super cool. Well, I was a big fan of that. And th this was, I think, the rarest card I got, the Molten Collapse, I think. I'm not really sure, but I like all these cards a lot. And I got a lot of legendaries, got some gods. I got a god, that's pretty cool, along with a bunch of other stuff. I hope that these are good cards and I can make a deck out of it. Or maybe not out of this specifically, but, you know, a deck eventually. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to get this box for yourself, consider clicking the affiliate link in my bio. Not only can you get the box, but it gives me a little extra commission and helps support the channel. And I would really appreciate that. You have a good day now.